hello guys welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to find solution to the calculus question on the board which says that if y is equal to e s point 4 s cos 3 x show that d square y over d s square minus 8 dy over d s plus 25 y is equal to 0. so how do we go about this so our y is giving us e exponent 4x cos 3x. Now, before we can find our first derivative, remember how this is proved that two functions multiply each other. We need to use product rule to differentiate this. And how do we differentiate exponential functions? To differentiate the exponential functions, you differentiate the exponent and use to multiply the function. And how do we differentiate trigonometric functions of this nature? You first differentiate this and use it to multiply the differential of the trig identity, which is cos here, then you repeat the angle. So that's the idea we are going to use. Now to use product rule, we'll keep cos 3s and differentiate e exponent 4s, then plus. Now we keep e exponent 4s and differentiate cos 3s. So that's what we are going to do. So we can say our dy over dx is equal to. So first we are keeping cos 3s and differentiate e exponent 4s. We'll get 4 e exponent 4x and cos 3x. Then plus. Now we'll keep e exponent 4x now. And differentiate cos 3x. When we differentiate cos 3x, we'll get negative 3 sine 3x so we can say our dy over dx is equal to 4e exponent 4x cos 3x then minus 3e exponent 4x sine 3x remember this very well we can rewrite this as dy over dx is equal to 4 bracket e exponent 4x cos 3x then minus 3 e exponent 4x sine 3x now remember our proving is in the second order, so we'll find a second derivative of this function. So we'll differentiate the first derivative to find a second derivative. The same way, look at this, there are product rule here. So we need to differentiate this using product rule, then differentiate this using product rule. But however, this e exponent 4s cos 3s is what we differentiate earlier, if you look at it very well. So we can say the differential of this is just that. I hope you get that. So we can say our d square y over dx square will be equal to 4 bracket. The differential of this will be this. So say 4 e exponent 4x cos 3x minus 3 e exponent 4x sine 3x. Then minus 3 bracket. Now the same way we apply the same principle to differentiate this. So I'll keep sine 3s and differentiate e exponent 4s. I'll get 4 e exponent 4x. Then we we'll bring the our sine 3x. Then plus. Now I'll keep e exponent 4x now and differentiate sine 3s. If I differentiate sine 3s, I'll get 3 cos 3x. I hope you get that. So now, polishing this, we can say our d square y over dx square will be equal to 4 bracket 4 e exponent 4x cos 3x minus 3 e exponent 4x sine 3x then minus 3 bracket. 4 e exponent 4x 
sine 3x. Then this will give us plus 3 e exponent 4x cos 3x. Remember, this is our dy over dx, and this is d square over dx squared. We can just expand this and add like terms. So expanding this, I can say d square y over dx square will be equal to this times this will give us 16 e exponent 4x cos 3x. Then 4 times this will give us minus 12 e exponent 4x sine 3x. Then these two, minus 3 times this will give us minus 12 e exponent 4x sine 3x. Then this times has to be minus 9 e exponent 4x cos 3x. So now we group like this. We can say our d square y over the x square is equal to 16 e exponent 4x cos 3x. Then this is the it like thing. So we say minus 9 e exponent 4x cos 3x. Then minus 12 e exponent 4x sine 3x. Then minus 12 e exponent 4x sine 3x. So what next? You can say that d square y over dx square is equal to now 60 e exponent 4x cos 3x minus 9 e exponent 4x cos 3x will give us 7 e exponent 4x cos 3x. Then this minus 12 minus 12, so that will be minus 24 e exponent 4x sine 3x. So you know this is our d square y over d s square. And this is our y and this is our dy over d s. We do some substitution to arrive at our proving. So having known this y to be equal to e exponent 4x cos 3x. And you have ideas to be equal to 4 e exponent 4x cos 3x minus 3 e exponent 4x sine 3x. We can say in a place we see e exponent 4x cos 3x. Here we substitute y. Then our dy over dx will be equal to 4. The whole of this is y. So 4y minus 3 e exponent 4x sine 3x i hope you get that then these two you know e exponent 4x cos 3x that's y then we can say our d square y over dx square is equal to 7y minus 24 e exponent 4x sine 3x i hope you get that now from here we can say 3 e exponent 4x sine 3x which is equal to 4y minus dy over dx. That was bringing this here and sending the dy over dx to the other side. So making this a subject, you can say e exponent 4x sine 3x will be equal to 1 third. That was dividing both sides by 3. 1 third 4y minus dy over dx. So I will know that our e exponent 4x sine 3x is equal to this. We substitute to this. So we can say our d square y over dx square is equal to 7y minus 24. Then bracket. In place of e exponent 4x sine 3x here, we substitute this. So we substitute one third bracket. 4y minus dy over dx. So we expand. So we can say our d square y over dx square is equal to 7y minus 
So 24 times 1 third will give us 8. So times 8. 4y minus dy over dx. Expanding this, we can set our d square y over dx square is equal to 7y minus 32y. That's negative 8 times 4y. Then plus 8 dy over dx. So, we can say our d square y over dx square is equal to 7y minus 32y will give us minus 25y. Then plus 8 dy over dx. Now, we'll bring everything and equate it to 0. Then we can say our d square y over dx square minus 8 dy over dx then plus 25y will be equal to 0 as required. I hope you get this. Please, if this helped you in a way, hit that subscription button, like, comment, and share my videos because these are the only ways you can help promote my YouTube channel and I can record more mathematical content for you. Bye-bye.